Hello all. I am Dr. Gayatri, an educational therapist. I am the founder of Flourishing Kids and I work with kids having learning challenges. Today, we are going to discuss about indicators for learning difficulties in preschoolers. Why we should know the early indicators? It is always important to know them so that we can identify what difficulties they face even before they enter the elementary even before they enter the first grade the preschoolers i mean are those in preschool in the pre kg and kindergartners so if you are identifying them at this early stage it is always early is beneficial for the kid their learning gaps will be reduced and they definitely get benefited with the strategies and we can support them from that stage itself let us see the indicators the main key point for seeing these indicators or red flags is that never see them just in isolation just if the kid is having difficulty for one week or 10 days it doesn't mean the kid is having learning difficulties if these difficulties are always recurring and they continuously recur even after we try to correct them even after we help them and we correct it then it is called an indicator or a red flag The first indicator is poor pronunciation. If a 5 year old kid is still talking with a poor pronunciation, still talking in a baby language that the other friends or the words which normally others can speak, then if the kid is having poor pronunciation, it is one of the common indicator. Next one is limited vocabulary growth. If the kid is around 5 years or 6 years, the kid has to express it in more words. but if the kid is having difficulty their vocabulary growth is very limited and that time there is very limited expression of words we know that the kid is having some difficulty next one is lack of interest in storytelling generally preschoolers like to listen to the stories and like to tell stories also but these kids don't like much to listen to the stories or again repeat it or tell the stories because they have difficulty to understand the sequence or what happened next or what is the understanding at the last of the story so they have difficulty with the stories next is the rhymes this is a very important indicator for nursery rhymes suppose let's take a small rhyme the twinkle twinkle little star twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are so the word star and r rhyme but these kids have difficulty they can't understand that this word and this word are rhyming they have difficulty to appreciate it and so they also have difficulty to again tell the rhyme also because they don't understand the rhyming parts and that makes it difficult for them next is difficulty to follow the sequence of instructions for an example if we are saying them okay go to your bench take your bag take the english book and turn to the page 5 it is very difficult for them because there are multiple set of instructions they have to go to the desk they have to take the bag they have to take the book it becomes difficult for them every time if we say this they go there they just stand there and they just start staring because they don't know what to do they would have taken the bag but they don't know which book they have to take because it is three or four steps and they always have a difficulty to follow a sequence of instructions next one is poor fine motor skills fine motor skills generally develop at this stage and it has to develop for writing and everything for objects to hold objects and everything but still these kids have very poor fine motor skills next is extreme restless they won't be sitting in one place and they will be extremely restlessness they will just keep on moving around this side that side they don't want to do the activity and they want to just go out from that activity or anything because it is difficult for them to sit in that place and uh, listen to it or do that activity so they will be extremely uh, always trying to move out and do things other things next is the trouble learning what is this trouble learning they have difficulty to learn it to learn some numbers if we are teaching them in the order from 1 to 10 it is difficult for them because they have to listen to the order and they have to repeat it and it is always difficult for them how many ever times we teach them again they will miss one or two numbers same thing for the days of the week or months of the year because these are the things first we teach in the preschools and schools we just teach them the sequence so they have this difficulty uh, the same thing with alphabets everything if whether there is a sequence and they have the difficulty 
to follow the sequence and understand it so these are all the early indicators for kids with learning difficulties it's always beneficial for the kid to get the support right from the early age thank you